Welcome back to my channel. So even though it's not winter where I live, I'm still pulling out all my jackets and my purple and burgundy eye looks. So today I thought I'd create this beautiful burgundy makeup look with two lip options. One slightly bolder and darker and one more on the neutral side. If you want to see how I achieve this look, let's get started. So first I'm going to use the Color Bar Perfect Match Primer to prime my skin. So I'm going to go in and do my base. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC35. So first I'm going to go in with my MAC Paint Pot in Laying Low. I'm going to use that to just prime my eyelids. Just because we're doing a lot of like heavy eyeshadow, I think it's better to prime your eyelids with a base that's slightly lighter and then set that base with a lighter color eyeshadow. Today for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Ultra Professional palette in Flawless. First, I'm going to be going in with the top left hand side shade, that's a yellow color, just to set my eye base. This will make sure that all our eyeshadows blend seamlessly. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. With a blending brush, I'm just going to blend that lightly into my crease. Go in with the deeper brown right at the end of the palette here and I'm going to use that just in my outer crease. with a clean blending brush to just blend out the edges. I'm going to take a brown pencil just to line my eyes and I'm going to take it slightly higher on the eyelid. This will act as a base for the burgundy shadow that we're trying to put. If you have creamier bases or any sort of liners that match the colors that you're trying to put on your eyelids, it's always better to first put the cream and then pack the powder on top of that. Now that I have this brown creamy base, I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend that outwards. So because I'm going for a burgundy eyeshadow look, I'm going to go in with this shade in the palette right here. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to pack that on. With smoky eyes, I always suggest that you keep going back and forth with your blending colors as well as a fresh brush to keep blending out the edges. This ensures that there are no streaky lines. Now because that palette doesn't have any matte burgundy brown shades, I'm just going to go in with Americano. This is by Makeup Geek. Using the other end of the brush, I'm going to go in and put that in my outer crease. I'm also going to take that same shade and put it in my outer V. This just adds a whole lot of dimension to the eye. Now because I feel like this eye is still missing something, I'm going to take this shade right here in the palette with a flat brush. I'm going to spray some Fix Plus and I'm going to pop that right in the center of the lid. I'm not creating a wing today, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyeliner before I do my concealer. So 
have already gone ahead and corrected my under eyes. Now to conceal, I'm using the LA Pro Conceal. It's in the shade Pure Beige. Brighten a little bit under my eye, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and use a Morphe stippling brush to blend that out. Because I've strategically placed this concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and press it into my skin rather than swiping it around. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Bharat and Doris Loose Powder in the shade number 4. Now because our skin gets a little dry in the winter, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This has tiny shimmer particles and it just helps to brighten the skin a little bit and add a slight glow. smoke out the lower lash line with this burgundy shade that we used in the crease. I'm going to go ahead and use the pink burgundy shade and I'm just going to pop that in the inner part of my under eye. Because the eye is very heavy top and bottom, I'm just going to use the Lakme Iconic and put that in my waterline to brighten the eyes and make them appear slightly larger. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply one thin layer of mascara before I go in with false eyelashes. bronze my skin. For that today I'm using the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. It's one of my favorite bronzers ever. It's so warm toned and gives you that beautiful sun kiss glow. For blush I'm going to use the Inglo Freedom Palette. This is the palette that I created. I'm going to use this shade right here. It's the number 33. Dimension Skin Finish by MAC in the shade Shaft of Gold. I'm just going to take my fan brush and spritz it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. This will ensure that my highlighter doesn't go on very powdery. options. First is the Viva Glam 3. This is a matte lipstick. It's matte and it's like a dark berry shade. This is perfect if you're willing to go all out. For my second lip option, slightly nudier brown shade. This is the shade 1995 by Gerard Cosmetics. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, you can do so by clicking here or down in the button below. I'd love to know what you guys want to see next, so let me know down in the comment section. I'll leave the links of all the products that I have used down in the description box. 
You can follow me on my social media on Instagram and Twitter at We Make Up Life and Snapchat at the rate Tina Tegra. See you next time. Bye. The color I bought was Dolce K. Now Dolce K is the most amazing brown nude I have ever 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 tried on my lips. It looks stunning on Indian skin tones.